Now, Siri is now suing Polymer 80. That's the nation's largest ghost gun manufacturer. But when we see assaults on the rise, carjacking seemingly happen almost every day. And this general sense of lawlessness in Baltimore City, we really pressed Mayor Brandon Scott earlier about how this lawsuit will really help the city get a grip on everything. Dirt bikers ripping through the streets. Motorists being punched by squeegee kids, open air drug markets happening on neighborhood corners, and people getting hit with stray bullets. Baltimore continues to face a crime crisis. Things are definitely getting worse. As the names of Baltimoreans continue to be added to a growing list of homicides. We're killing each other, honestly, for nothing. Meanwhile, hello everybody. Mayor Brandon Scott talking up the city's newest effort in fighting the violence, filing a lawsuit against Polymer 80, the country's largest ghost gun manufacturer. This company, through their business model, is intentionally undermining state and federal firearms laws by designing, manufacturing, selling, and providing ghost gun kits and parts to buyers who do not undergo a background check and are flooding our city with these untraceable, unserialized firearms. And we will hold them accountable. Alleging the company and an armory based in Maryland are violating public nuisance laws, are negligent, and violate the state's Consumer Protection Act. According to BPD, ghost gun seizures are escalating. In 2018, nine were taken from the streets. In 2021, 352 were confiscated. As of May 22nd of this year, 187 ghost guns have been seized by Baltimore police, making up 19% of all gun seizures this year. BPD telling me 44 of those 187 ghost guns seized this year have been directly linked to violence. But the current U.S. Marshal in Maryland says banning ghost guns won't stop people from killing each other. He says it's the people that should be targeted with policy, not the weapons themselves. These ghost guns are a problem, but the violent repeat offenders or a bigger problem. There was a bill in Annapolis backed by Governor Larry Hogan targeting repeat gun offenders that would crack down on sentences and penalties. But Mayor Brandon Scott didn't support that bill. We know that the gun laws on the books are pretty restrictive in Maryland and in Baltimore City. If violent criminals are still getting their hands on guns regardless of how they get it or where they come from, how is suing the manufacturer going to stop it? Well, I think uh, what you have to understand is that when you think about uh, Maryland's gun laws and the success that we've had on them, if we win these kind of suits and these folks have to follow the rules and regulations that everyone else has, then guess what? They people can't get these guns illegally anymore. Ghost guns account for about one fifth of the seizures so far in Baltimore. So we sent the mayor a few more questions asking, what evidence do you have that ghost guns are the driving force behind gun related crime in Baltimore? And remember, some laws on the books are going ignored by city state's attorney Marilyn Mosby. So we also asked the mayor, how will this lawsuit help limit open air drug markets, carjackings and assaults? Those questions going ignored. Meanwhile, the city continues to grapple with a gun violence crisis as Baltimore is on pace to surpass 300 homicides this year for the eighth straight year. I reached out to Polymer 80 for a statement in light of this lawsuit, but I didn't hear back. Outside City Hall, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News.